Yo, what up, dude? So i um, been getting a lot of questions regarding um, the whole dynamic between accelerators and drivers. And if we could just, or if I could just do something solely based on acceleration. So since I have my sweet pen stylus thing, I'll just go ahead and write acceleration. Cool, right? Okay, anyways, let's dive into it. Uh, remember, my thing and something that I try to teach depending on what type of human being you are, if you're bigger, better equipped to drive, then maybe drive. If you're equipped from your body type to accelerate and utilize fast switch muscles better, maybe um, you're not a big guy, a tall guy, can't use leverage all that well, as, I, as you see, I got Stroman and Sonny Gray, uh, smaller guys, then accelerate. Now, acceleration for me s begins in the initial move, okay? So we're going to see Stroman here. And when I say initial move, I, I essentially mean when the lead foot disconnects from the ground, okay? So... We're going to take a look at both of these guys and what their body does as soon as their lead foot disconnects from the ground. Play it through. Right, so right off the bat, you see them initiate forward momentum, which is going to then signal to the brain, yo, we're getting going. Now the brain has to signal to the body and say, okay, well, we have to increase everything else from the acceleration standpoint to be able to be on time. Again, I, I can't stress enough. I believe that the body is constantly fighting organization. It wants to organize, right? We just got to implement the right things for it to organize, okay? Um, so again... Initial move, lifting, their body is accelerating forward pre-peak leg lift, right? So both of these guys, super athletic dudes, and, you know, super athletic dudes, a.k.a. pitchers, sorry about it, but again, they lift, boom, bodies going forward. Right. So what is their next move? Okay. So they've set themselves up for acceleration. All right. So their acceleration is going to be increased. Now, what is the next move or sorry, the next move is going to determine a lot based on like, have you never accelerated before? Have you trained your body to accept that added acceleration? Well, both of these guys, absolutely. Right? So you're going to notice, boom, they accelerate forward. Stroman maintains center mass, head posture, okay, a little bit back. Sonny Gray, right? So his head posture, pretty much center, okay? I see a lot of guys that try to implement added acceleration forward momentum, that should be backwards, forward momentum added acceleration, and they've never been used to it, so they shoot aggressively into a hip coil, right? So this hip shoots forward, and then you'll see, you know, the head back here. Whoa, bad circle. So you'll see the head back here, right? And then you'll see a super curved kind of see here and they never just they, they don't allow themselves to control the center mass so that leads to um, limited amount of acceleration into front foot strike and more often times than not you'll see the trail leg shoot into active trail leg hip flexion okay so what do we see controlling head accepting gravity that's the big thing with acceleration right is moving faster the tempo's increased the reason being is because we want to utilize gravity down the slope. Okay. Again, going back to a lot of guys that I see try to implement this, they, they, they try to defy gravity, right? Remember what I talked about with that head 
everything trying to go back, they'll try to defy gravity to quote unquote, get on time. And I have a ton of videos on my whole thing when it comes to the brain's perception of, hey, get the hand on time, get the arm on time. It's basically my version of saying that when you think that notion, your body automatically decreases tempo and acceleration. Funny how that works, right? So abiding by gravity, what does it mean? Um, that's what it means, right? The head's going to dictate a lot. We see the head there, okay? So now, basically third move, into front foot strike. Okay? Into front foot strike. Boom. So... So we have added acceleration into front foot strike, utilizing the slope. Now notice how both of these guys, they do not get disconnected all too much with their hand and their body. They're able to accept gravity, utilize gravity, and leverage their arm through the zone with their body. Both of them, you'll see that the Hips are rotated on time, which the back foot will give us a really good indication of that. And their hands, I think. Yeah, so Stroman's boom. So what we have here is added acceleration in the front foot strike, lead leg stability, be able to handle that added force and added energy, hip rotation on time, hand climb, hand raise, arm swing, whatever you want to call it, occurred on time. Um, everything's on time and we're accelerating faster and we're stabilizing with that lead foot, right? So notice this as well. The hand raise was even though we're accelerating, right? We talked about the acceleration and we talked about earlier with the perception of on time, the hand raise, okay? So the moment in which the hand, throwing hand, climbs above elbow shoulder, right? Has been delayed essentially, which then delays trunk right? So you're accelerating forward, your hand stays connected, you're able to leverage arm, your trunk doesn't premature rotate because your hand isn't up yet, right? So we see a lot of times guys will prematurely rotate that trunk, which will then limit a ton of power output because of the separation, the stretch, right? So, and then out through the ball hand, stabilizing with the lead leg. Okay, that's acceleration, all right? So forward momentum and acceleration, you'll see both of these guys obviously do it extremely well, both move extremely well. Now, the frustrating thing, I, I have a lot of remote clients that would try to work towards gaining acceleration and they get frustrated because what I mentioned earlier with the head, right? The body doesn't realize that what you're trying to do is right. It's essentially trying to protect against that harmful threat of forward increased acceleration. So you just need to train it, tempo. That's why I have a ton of videos on tempo and the tempo of the feet and how I believe that is kind of like the stepping stone into forward acceleration, added acceleration, forward momentum. Okay, guys. Well, as always, Appreciate your time. I know that was a long winded video, but I need a drink of water, so I gotta go. Check out all my other YouTube videos on this topic. I have a, another video of a comparison of accelerators and drivers. You'll be able to see that within this video. I'm sure you can just click on the link, hashtag fancy. And uh, yeah, if you don't subscribe, we're not friends. So don't say we're friends. Now I gotta sign it. Yeet! See you, dudes.